Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this fish tank, okay? What I'm making is the tank, the what do you call that? The weeds? Weeds? Yes, the weeds for the sea, the TV, and I don't know what that thing is. I think that's a box of default cube and the sand, okay? I'm gonna show you how I make those. Here we are in Blender 2.92, okay? I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna use the default cube later, so I'm just gonna hide it. And the camera and the light, I'm gonna hide it. Shift A to add for the tank first. Shift A to add a UV sphere. Okay. So now go to edit. Go to edit mode. Go to face select. Uh, enable this one. What do you call this? The wireframe. Yes, the wireframe. And select this one. I mean, box select those. Delete those face, okay? That is gonna be the base, and let's make the upper 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 part. Let's delete this one, okay? If you're quite satisfied with it, then well, that's good. And now let's uh, go to edge select. Let's, let's this one. I'm gonna select this one, the bottom. I'm gonna extrude and scale. Okay, I'm gonna make it as minimal as I can to avoid those trouble later and fill. Now, there you have it. You just got yourself a basic shape of a fish tank. Okay, now I'm gonna add a subdivision surface on it. Before we do that, let's add a solidify. Add a solidify just a little bit. You don't have to be that thick. If you want to be a thick, well, that's very good. Still good, works. Okay, now. Control R to add a loop cut here to make this a uh, little bit rounder, but you don't need that actually. Okay, so I'm gonna control Z that. Gonna enable the subdivision surface. And over there, where we have it, guys. Increase it to two. Two actually works fine already. If you want to go even more sh smoothness, increase it to three. Don't get to four. Four, four is still fine, but the more the faces is, the hard, the harder for your computer might be. If your computer is powerful, <laughs> I'm gonna go with three, which is way too smooth, but it still looks fine. So I'm gonna shade smooth this. Let me see if there's a problem. Okay, there's no problem there. That's good. How about this one? Actually, this actually a little bit of problem. If we zoom, can you see those? That's why I use extrude and scale okay to minimize those uh those trouble if you want to and i mean to make it minimize add another one and make it even smaller and the problem should be less okay see you along with the up here as well okay now the problem is minimal now let's make this area sharp okay add Add a loop cut there. See, now we get the shape there. Very cool, right? So that's the basic shape of the fish tank. We'll color it later, okay? I'm gonna press one now. Grab that one. No matter, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I guess I'm gonna make the sand. Okay? It's way better if you rename all your mesh, okay? So you're not confused. But this one. I'm um, gonna call it the tank. And now let's make the sand, okay? You can use this one. Just duplicate it and scale. But I'm gonna use a new mesh now. I'm gonna use the UV sphere. Again. Let me turn on this one, the X ray. Let's scale it a little bit so it fits the tank. Now we got something like that. Go to edit mode. Again, delete this area. If you have good memory, delete till here, okay? Delete those face. And maybe good wait bring it up a little bit. Scale shift set. Hmm, that's a bad idea. Grab that reset a little bit. Okay, then delete this one. Delete those face. Okay, I think that's good enough. And uh, grab that a little bit. I just feel the topology. You don't have to if you don't want, okay? Completely up to you. Grab that over there. Grab that up. 
this one wrap it up don't have to be precise about this okay so i'm just gonna leave it like that oh press one let's see now let's delete we need the ascend gonna be over here okay so i'm gonna go to face select again go to edit mode in edit mode i'm gonna delete this one oh, i think that's way too much okay now let's delete the face and we get this up a sand okay that's gonna be the sand okay now i did the same thing again edge select this one extrude scale and fill okay same with this you can just fill it just press it okay <laughs> so that's our sand there let's, let's smooth them out subdivision surface okay it's okay now let's add some oh let's put some more topology on it over there and for the bottom we don't maybe we don't need it we just need to uh, shade smooth it okay shade smooth so the problem should be lesser if you don't mind don't worry about the below because well not focus much about there so there it is now we got our sand now the, the third part let's make our leaf the leaf is a uh, very simple we just use a plane rotate that to the x 90 degree grab it there a little because we're going to edit it over here and we're going to add edit over here later scale just scale shift set would do or scale it to the x can scale it make it smaller scale okay get something like that let's uh, add more loops depends on how loops you how many loops you want depends on you okay now enable this one the proportional editing make sure in edge select okay select one of these and rotate that to the z scroll scroll what scroll up to decrease the size and rotate doesn't matter how, how you want to rotate it that's completely up to you let me go over there and you got something that's swirly swirly okay that's gonna be our leaves let's uh, add the solidify increase the thickness over there enable this let's solidify and let's add a subdivision surface this may be two two actually looks fine or if you want more just go to three okay there you have it simple right control a to apply done that's your what do you call that weed the seaweed uh, seaweed <laughs> that's your seaweed there okay now just grab it over here not that what i'm making is not a hundred percent like the picture i shown you before it's gonna make it uh well something that maybe not a hundred percent it's a hundred percent but not hundred percent okay if you want you can increase the adjust the height as well scale z now the height is quite different along with this one is it okay i'm just gonna give this duplicate to the y rapidly and you got something like that okay very cool right and now for the last part i make the tv right so i'm gonna reuse the cube default cube and let's turn this off a little bit press one wrap that up scale this is going to be the TV. Okay, I'm going to add the subdivision surface on it. Increase it to two, maybe three, and I'm going to add a loop cut to the front. Okay. And make, oh, not there. And this one. Where's the, where is it? Oh, there you are. That's how I make my loop cut there. 
and for the base i don't think i'm gonna need i didn't add the base before now let's go and now it's more like a basic default cube <laughs> okay and i'm gonna press i oh i think i'm gonna close that those this one too control x this one press i then i'm gonna screw that to the y and i'm gonna that again and screw that to the y that's gonna be the tv screen the glass i believe insert okay and got something like that <laughs> i think it's way better if you rotate this to the y 90 degree yeah that's way better for the tv not 100 percent like the shape i made before but yeah it's a tv <laughs> now let's make the aerial add a add a what do you call it? cube grab that is that scale press one grab that scale grab grab that a little bit to the y i believe this video is going to be very long guys <laughs> i hope i i hope you learned something <laughs> okay let's fix it okay now let's add a there add again oh where is it for all them scale oh then disable the proportional scale. okay now for the antenna i'm gonna use uh what do you call it? what do you call it guys what do you call it I'm use the curve no i'm not gonna use the curve i'm just gonna use the cube or you can use the plane let's hit x 90 degree wrap it over there scale scale again over there scale the dx rotate wrap over there grab that make sure that we are on the top over there don't worry about about the other side because we can mirror it later actually let's mirror it now let's solidify first doesn't have to be that thick Control a to apply and add the subdivision surface on it and should get something like that weird <laughs> there wherever right there okay increase to two two would be look at that it's very thin for an aerial but scale if y nope scale y and should be make it thick okay shade smooth okay that's very good and this one i'm gonna go to three because i'm gonna make it smooth again <laughs> i like being smooth let to apply and make sure before you before you set this before you uh, mirror this one make sure you set the job the geometry okay otherwise it will go to a weird direction now let's add a what's that subdivision of oh, let's apply the first and let's mirror the one mirror to this one and it should got something like that okay now let's grab them all this grab scale the fish need the fish really need tv you know the life <laughs> Oh, one thing we forgot, I believe. We forgot the TV base, okay? Can we for that? I'm mean, actually just using the cube, okay? Press one, scale, grab, make it thin, scale should be set. And grab that over there, scale, grab, oh, grab that to set. There. And make it overlapping with the sand a little bit because the tv is heavy okay now select the tv oh it's gonna be hard turn this thing off this one now select the tv the and the antenna 
subscribe back to the Y. Press one. And I enable my X-ray again. Grab that make it at something like there. It may be exploding, but yeah. <laughs> That's fine too. Okay. So there it is guys. That's the basic shape of my uh, fish tank, okay? Now let's go to shade it. But before we go that, it's better to apply all those changes first. And you can apply this one. The, the weed. Yeah, I apply all those. I believe I apply them all. Let's apply the sand. TV, the mirror. Apply. The TV, the box. Yeah, then it. But the TV needs to be applied. About that one and this one, okay. Make sure you check if you apply them all, okay. So there's nothing need to be changed now. Let's go to shading. There, it's better to see it on cycle. Nah, not the cycle yet. Let's paint the inner first. The tank later. I'm gonna press hedge to hide, okay. Let's paint TV. I'm gonna use a different color than what I did before, okay? But this I'm gonna go with the black, brownish black. This is a box type. And I don't need I don't need specular and roughness to one. And for the TV, I'm gonna shade smooth this first. Okay. Did I apply? Yes, I apply. Now make sure to Add two. You can use the later one as well if you want. Specular, I'm gonna go with oh, just the color first. I'm gonna go with the uh, what what color the TV? Is it black? I think it's black. It is black. Black. I'm gonna a little bit specular. I don't need too much roughness. It's over there. Okay. Now for the screen. One thing that you need to uh, when you when you're using color and you got something this mesh a lot, it's way better if you apply the add a color first instead of well applying the subduing surface and you choose the color later. Okay, I make a mistake actually now, but I'm gonna choose one by one. That oh not that one. Let's zoom that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, thank you. Press one now. And I'm gonna press B. Box select them all. Hold shift, okay? Oh, not hold shift. Box select them all. B again, box select. Or you can just press C. And you put something like that. Okay. Now. Let's assign those. Over here, new, and hit assign. It should be assigned perfectly. Yes, it does. Thank God, it saved my time. <laughs> Just like a little bit. I'm gonna make the roughness go to zero because it's a glass. Okay, look at that guys. Get yourself a good TV there. <laughs> and for this one, I'm gonna go same color as the, as the body, black. And for the aerial, I use new. I'm just gonna increase the metallic. I'm gonna get the specular, the roughness, something like that. Okay, look at that cool TV. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <clears throat> and now let's paint the sand. Okay, it's smooth first. New. For the sand, I actually, which I believe, I use a color ramp. Okay, I'm gonna use a color ramp now. Nah, I didn't use color. I just go to uh, bump. The converter, I and mean, the vector, bump. Okay, go something over there. Normal to the normal. For the sand type, I like more using the, what do you call it? The noise, okay? You can add two, actually. I'm going to add two. Shift D to, shift D to duplicate it. 
in this one that's gonna be normal this is gonna be normal there it's gonna be over there this is gonna fat to the height let's uh add another texture a wave fat to the height I don't know this this is a this is the correct way but yeah this is how I make mine actually increase the scale to the wave what the oh mistake 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 fat to the height not to the normal this should look check time low I okay oh look at that very weird that on as the roughness this one okay don't worry about those okay because we're gonna adjust the strength layer okay and then this one i'm gonna get the detail you know, the distortion just a little bit okay okay for the color i'm gonna go with this find a sandy color like that make it darker since this is a sand i think that's too dark uh yeah that would do the very important part of this is the string okay decrease the string and this one as well decrease the string decrease the string we just wanted a little bit this one as well we just want a little bit of it now that look like a sandy look, sandy shape. Okay, and now last part, let's paint this one. New. I believe I use color ramp for this. And you just color ramp. Where is it? Converter. Color ramp. The alpha, not the alpha. Color to the color. Okay. And this is gonna be the green. Not too green, no. That and this one is also gonna be green, but it's a way darker. I'm gonna go there and that. Make it dark. Okay. Just something like that. Use texture. Any texture. I believe I use a wave texture to make that. Okay. And you got something like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. very cool. Let's take as a this the scale. If you want to increase the scale, it's fine. And I'm gonna distort as well. Very good. It's better to distort it, okay? Because we wanna make it look random. The detail, completely up to you how you want the detail. What I'm adjusting here is actually uh, my liking. So if you got something that you're liking, well, use that, okay? Now we get some of that seaweed looking over there, plasticky. I don't need specular. I'm gonna go to zero and the roughness as well yeah there it is and let's mix this mix the material with the other okay i'm gonna select this 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 and this and make sure this one is highlight okay I'm gonna press control l control l there the material okay and it should go like that very cool right and for the last part actually the last part is actually the tank <laughs> Well, look at that. I didn't see anything. If you want to see the difference, go to an EV. I mean, I mean the cycles, okay? Let me increase the light just a little bit. I want it to be brighter first. Okay, new roughness. Over there. No, decrease the alpha. You can use the glass, okay? It's it's good if you use the glass. But if you're using this, also fine, okay? The roughness is specular. You want it to be shine or something. Now let's enable the light. Where's the light? There we go. I'll press 7 now to up view. Grab that. Shift D. Add another light again. That's way too high. Grab it. Let me add a base. Press 1. Add a base. Very important adding a base. There. Okay. 
And now for the alpha, I'm going to use something like that. And for the, I think for the thing, I'm going to go with something bluish. Okay. Okay, so that's how I make my uh, fish tank there, guys. It's not 100% like what you've seen before. If you see this one, it's not 100%. What I the material is this I use for the tank is actually a glass, but when I when I check it out I didn't actually use the glass, I used the blender of the old version blender like 2.88 2.87 something like that making this one, so maybe there's a few difference in it. Oh, I'm just well forgot something. <laughs> so that's how I make mine. <clears throat> This is a little bit different, but I think you get the point that how I make this. Look at that. Look at that. Quite look the same. Almost look the same. <laughs> so that's how I make mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Try it yourself. Make one. Okay. I'll see you again next tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Oh, one more thing. If you have any suggestion, just put it in the comments below and I will read it. And I will. I will try to reply to you if it makes sense. Yes, I'm reply. <laughs> okay, bye now.